So hi, it's Dave. A quick update on how I'm getting on. And uh, yes, I'm in my pyjamas because, well, I've got a workshop. It's 10 o'clock at night and the kids are asleep. I'm indoors, it's warm, I can work on the car in my pyjamas. How cool is that? So it dawned on me that um, I haven't touched any of this for, God, well, what, six months. And I went to look at it and was like, well, I really need to recap where I'm at. Does my code still work? Are the batteries still all right? Does my BMS wiring work? because I've taken it all apart to move house and uh, I just need to just start refreshing my memory. So I'm gonna take you on a little bit of that journey today. Um, first thing, I've got my desk. So I've got my extra bit of desk on here, which is cool, so I've got extra workspace there. Um, and what I've got now set up is my BMS and relay system. So if I take you back down here, I've got my BMS wiring that I created. So this is my alternate BMS wiring for these batteries because this isn't obviously how they're configured in the Leaf. Uh, look at some of my old videos and you'll see how I created all this right faff. There's a whole ream of cable here which is because these are going to go at the front of the car and the BMS is going to live in the back of the car with the other set of batteries which is using the original BMS wiring from the Nissan Leaf. And uh, so that's the two sets of batteries. I've rewired the BMS. They're all plugged into my BMS module there, um, which is then wired up to the relays from the leaf. So you've got your positive and your negative and your pre-charged circuits in here. That's all wired through a chocolate block here, which is my positive and negative 12 volts, which are being simulated as a car battery from my trusty old uh, voltage DC output here. Uh, that's off at the moment, so it's obviously not doing anything. Um, you'll also remember from some of my other videos, my little 12 volt switch. So when this has 12 volts going into it, it supplies power on one uh, output, and then it times for a few seconds, or for whatever, whatever time you want. I think I've got it for one or two seconds, and it switches over to uh, output two. So what I use that really clever for is switching between the pre-charge circuit and the main circuits. And I used that really effectively in my last EV car. And uh, it does the same thing here. So when I turn the power source on, it turns the pre-charge circuit on, waits for a couple of seconds, switches, and turns the main relays on, which will obviously pass power to the car. Currently, obviously you'll see the high voltage isn't wired up. This is all just a BMS test. And uh, obviously I will wire it up to the car once I get the cable. So there's my Arduino, again that's wired into the connector for the BMS and that is then to my laptop and I have tested this so I know it works, there's been a bit of fiddling to get the wires back right again but just going to show you, if I turn the power on you'll see my little relay do its switch. There you go, so the two clicks there were the two sets of relays, I'll just do that again, I'll turn it off. So so what you'll hear, you'll hear one set of clicks, which is the pre-charged circuit, and then a second set of clicks, which is the main circuits. All right, so that's that. That's just this device here, just doing that all on its own. Got my Arduino here that should now be communicating to the BMS because the BMS is powered on uh, via the 12 volts. So if I come over to here, uh, hopefully I can show this. Let's go if I can get a zoom in on that, yes. So you'll see there listed all the cells and what their voltages are. You'll also see there the shunt. So that's uh, that's basically what the BMS does. It opens the shunt to balance the, the, the uh, each cell in the battery. I must admit, I can't quite know, I don't understand why some of the shunts are on and some aren't. Some of them seem to be a low voltage and the shunt is on. But I can only imagine that because it's fully charged, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, down here I've got three temperature sensors. Uh, oddly, the BMS outputs four temperatures, but there are only three sensors. So I've got 21 degrees, 21 degrees, 24 degrees. High voltage battery, 388 volts. Low voltage battery, 11.9 or 11.7, sorry. State of health, um, state of... Oh, God, I can't remember what SOC stands for. Somebody will correct me for that. Uh, overall capacity and current being drawn, two amps. Uh, that's a bit strange. Um... Not really sure why it's drawing two amps. Uh, I, maybe that's an error in the code because I haven't actually tested that aspect yet. But anyway, that's a good little update for tonight. I've wired this up, got it in, BMS is working, code working, 
This will just sit here now exactly as it is. I'll wire those through to the inverter, which actually I'll give you a quick recap on that as well. Do, 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 do. There we go. So there's the inverter and motor in the car. And there's my two high voltage inputs. I'm literally just going to wire them from over there straight into the car. The car's got its gearbox in, so I'll leave the gearbox in neutral. I don't want it charging straight out. And um, I should be able to then, using the Arduino in the car, put the code on that to run the inverter, plug that into the inverter, get the throttle response working <laughs> into the Arduino. I should be able to then sit in the car and rev the engine. Well, a little bit to do, there's quite a lot to do there. But anyway, baby steps, get this thing wired up first and, um, and see if that uh, actually powers the inverter, I guess. So thanks again, I'll keep you all updated as I keep making changes and doing bits and pieces. The videos are always gonna be quite short and uh, thanks for watching, cheers.